Welcome back to the channel. So something I've been waiting on, uh, sort of almost a part two in a way because y'all have already seen this once, but I have another one of these, which is the UGR Labs Predator chassis for the Gen 8. I already have one of those that you've seen me work on for my class three truck, which is a Gen 7 Pro with the portal axle upgrade that I've switched to this chassis. This is my second chassis, which is gonna be for my class two comp build. So I'll take you over to the bench, show you what exactly we're doing with what parts, and we'll start the process. But this will take multi-sections to, to complete, or multi-videos to complete this. Um, still have a couple things to, to get that I'm not sure exactly what I'm gonna do. We'll talk about that at the bench, guys. All right, guys, so here it is. The Predator chassis by RC Lab or UGRC. That's the Predator chassis. This has been my class one rig, which is off of a Gen 8 platform with portals. So I'm going to convert that to that chassis for my Comp 2 rig. So some of the parts that I've already purchased because this class one truck was set up with rear leaf springs. It doesn't have a full link kit in the back for it. You can sort of see there it has some some uh, custom made links, but not all the way through the front. It still has the stock. So I got from In the Works RC their stainless uh, full link kit for the Gen 8. From Valhaus RC their uh, pan hard bar uh, mount relocation. I already have one of these on my normal Gen 8. Uh, I have a video for that. Uh, if you want to check it out and then this just came in today holmes hobby crawlmaster sport 10 turn so i have the 12 turn in my gen 8 right here decided i want to try the 10 turn and that's going to go in this rig uh, currently this truck here has a holmes 21 turn trailmaster in it which that trailmaster will probably go to my trx4 blazer because uh, it's still running stock titan motor so I'll end up probably putting that motor in it. Uh, and the rest of the electronics that are in this truck are going to move over to the Comp 2 rig. So I'm gonna get the body off here, uh, show you a few of the things that are here and what parts we plan to reuse and what we don't plan to reuse. So here we go. With the body off, we have 1080 ESC. That's gonna go to the new rig. Um, have a uh, Flysky, uh, uh, receiver here that I use my GT3C remote right there which I also use on my regular Gen 8 so I will move that over you can see the Trailmaster motor I was just talking about it has the uh, Kush K uh, 35 kg uh, servo that will be moving over to the new rig um, this is I believe in the works RC's front uh, links and brass uh, probably won't move this over as I have the full full link kit from them right here so I'll probably just use that obviously you got portals um, these shocks here that came on this rig are obviously not stock um, gen 8 shocks so I may use these front ones just to start with but I obviously need shocks for the rear not sure what I have in my parts bin uh, but I am looking at shock options haven't completely decided on what shocks I want. This chassis is intended for droop setup. Uh, I currently have, I believe, a 100 millimeter um, hot racing internal spring shocks on the Gen 8. And also on my Gen 7, now Predator chassis setup. I may take those shocks off of there because I'm still waiting on some stuff for that to finish that and temporarily put them on here. But I'm also looking at some other shock options possibly desert skin, lizards, I think is what it is. Uh, but a few things I'm looking at as a possibility. So nothing set in stone there. We'll, we'll just sort of see how it, it plays. Uh, so what I have to start with is I need to strip this thing down. I need to get the axles out, uh, disconnect the links, get the transmission, tr uh, transmission transfer case, motor, servo out, basically strip this chassis down. The body right there, at this point in time, I do not believe I'm gonna use that body. I may temporarily put it on there and see how it looks, but really it's not my intent. I believe I will probably go with the J Concepts Creek body and paint it, uh, pick a color to paint it. 
I might paint it the color of my one personal car that I really like. So I'll save that for, for that timing. Uh, so I'm going to start stripping this down, get this bare, so we can start looking at what we need to do over here. So I hope you stick around for that. Okay, here goes. As you can see, chassis is stripped down. All that's left is your skid, front links, the rear links that was previously made for this, uh, your the um, leaf spring set up for the rear, uh, rear mount, uh, which actually I may be taking that out and using that to be honest. I have to, to see. So really it's just a chassis which has been slightly modified. I believe it's been cut down about an inch to fit the uh, uh, TF2 body. So I will likely be selling this. If somebody might be interested, reach out to me. Um, so parts, as you can see, all my electronics here that will be moving over to the new rig. Um, this is the front piece off of this chassis. It's my understanding you gotta have this, but there's gonna be some modification, cutting some stuff down to fit this onto this chassis. I believe something like this, but you cut these off so you can put the servo in the same place. Uh, transfer case and stock drive shafts, we continue to use that. Stock transmission, this motor will come off in favor of that motor. Our front axle, uh, currently right now these links are on there, but they will, um, will be coming off. These shocks, we'll see. The rear setup we'll be using. This piece, which was used like a battery tray and electronics tray on the other rig, I don't know. If, if it can be of use on the new rig, I will use it. But if not, then I won't. These were spacers. The guy I purchased this from, he did his own flat belly thing and raised the uh, Gen 8 transmission. So he's got these spacers. Um, I won't need, have a need for that. So I don't know if somebody's interested in those. Uh, I'd be willing to part with them and... Uh, help somebody else out if possible. So that's everything that's gonna go onto the new rig. So now I gotta start bolting stuff on. So that'll be in the next episode. And I uh, hope you will uh, stick around and follow me on this build. All right guys, so there you have it. What do you think? I'm excited. I know I've already started a class three build with the same chassis, but this one is the one I'm really excited about. I, I'm looking forward to this moving all this stuff from that old rig to this new setup, hopefully making it work and making it work well. I hope you'll follow this build series on this as we move along. I still have some more items to purchase for it uh, to complete it, but we should be able to get it in roller hopefully in the next episode. So until then, see you next time.